So in this day of social media, it's certainly uh, common for people to be self-conscious about their lips. They notice if their lips are thin. Uh, they notice if they're asymmetric. We have different ways of fixing that and addressing that. Uh, one way is to put in a temporary filler. A temporary filler can be a hyaluronic acid like Restylin or like Juvederm. And those are injected with a really fine needle. It's done as an office procedure. You can go to work that afternoon. And your lip gets filled. And that lasts usually between three months and six months. And it's a good way to see if you like your lip a little bit bigger. A second way is to do that permanently. If you pass that test and you really like what it looks like, you can do that with an FDA approved uh, off-label use of a silicone product. It has to be a very heavy weight silicone, 5,000 weight, and it has to be something called a Datasil, and it's used to fill the upper lip or the lower lip, and it gives a permanent fleshy fill to it. The third uh, way is to put in a permanent implant. A permanent implant can be out of a, a little silicone or it can be out of Gore-Tex, uh, but whatever it is, it's like a fiber strand that's put in the lip to make it bigger. Those strands have problems sometimes in uh, having to be removed, so they're not usually the most popular, but about 5% of people choose that. And then the final option is somebody who has a very deficient lip can use local tissue with a bigger surgical procedure to advance tissue from one area to another area to build the lip up. The problem with that procedure is sometimes you get some numbness in your upper lip and you might occasionally have a little asymmetry, but it, the good part is it's all natural. So now we're going to take a look at a few different cases and you can see uh, what they look like. So in uh, this case, I love showing it because really uh, what I've shown on the left is with only a half of the lip augmented. So it's a great way to show you uh, how when you inject half of the lip, you get that much. And then, of course, on the right is when the lip is completely finished. So we're using the FDA-approved uh, off-label use of Adatacil 5000, which is a silicone. Uh, that's a great long-term result and patients love it. We only do that for people if they have had a temporary filler with us first uh, to make sure that they like it because this is not reversible. The second case we're going to show you is a VY lip augmentation. That's the one I was talking about where we're using natural tissue, taking it from up under the lip and dragging it down to make the lip permanently fuller. Uh, this is a very natural looking result. It feels and looks natural. Sometimes there can be maybe 5% of the time a little bit of numbness with it. But uh, it's very popular for patients who are very deficient. Uh, that's only about 5% of my patients. Most of the patients uh, try temporary fillers and then go to the uh, permanent silicone filler as a long-term solution. It does not make sense for most young women to be getting lip fillers put in every four or five months for the rest of their life. So if they like the way they look with fuller lips, they usually are seeking out a more permanent solution. And the uh, FDA approved off-label use of Adatacil really gives great results and I've been doing it for uh, more than 15 years. So there's help out there for women with, or even men, with thin lips. There's a good way to test it in the office. You can inject saline and look at it and it's gone in 10 or 20 minutes. You can in uh, inject a filler like a hyaluronic acid, Restylane or Juvederm, a version of those and that will last for a few months. If you like that, you can put a permanent uh, silicone uh, product in the lip or you can actually put in implants uh, made out of Gore-Tex or made out of a more solid silicone. So there are great options out there for how to get a kissable, nice, soft, beautiful, bigger lip. Mm -hmm.